She was my first love. Soulmate, soulmate, soulmate. I don't know if I feel so comfortable talking gotcha. about exactly how it happened. He made this for me because he, he was an artist. Yes. He, and he made it in art class our senior year. He made me a bear that I could always keep <laughs> by my bed so I could always see him. He says you have two. Um, but he's showing a, a, a... I'm going... Hold on. <laughs> I have to forget this out. What? There, there's there's two. Um, I, so he's, he's talking, I think, about... He's pointing at the paw. You're talking about <laughs> the two. Can I oh, put my pants? You can, you can, Don't worry, I'm only... No gonna, worries. I got these in memory of him, so he must be talking about my bear Those claws. Those would be the two. Okay. Yeah. That's Whoa. amazing. Okay. That's insane. There we oh go. Gosh. I got those when he passed. Wow. So that's what he meant. And wow. he also made these insane. They're amazing, Tyler. You are so <laughs> sweet. You're insane. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's so connected, and that's such a sweet, amazing yeah. object. Oh. It's so special. I keep it by my mother Mary in my closet. I love that. So, and amazing. with my grandfather's. Yes. All three of them are right there oh. with each other. That's incredible. That just blew my mind. And uh, the tattoos, like, I mean, oh my gosh, when he pointed to the paw and said two. Ugh. Unreal. It's popping in that I have to acknowledge. Um, the feeling is life gets cut too short or like someone passes away before their time. And when he comes through, he acknowledges a reference to music. He is showing a legacy being continued on. Mm -hmm. And then he is having me reference to like a dedication, but in a musical sense. Mm. And it comes through. Now, the interesting thing is that he acknowledges this hasn't been done yet. Mm -hmm. And he feels like he's involved in it. Yeah. I like it. It's amazing because right now I'm working on music for him. Right. But He's on the record. That's amazing. And it's just a beautiful yeah. connection. And it's all for the love of him. That's awesome. Well, I can't wait to hear it. That'll be yeah. amazing. <laughs> and he clearly is really happy about that. That's awesome. Yeah. This person coming through who's acknowledging that this feels like my life was taken prematurely in the way this comes across. And so that's a very strong you know, indication that comes in. There's a whole thing when I'm connecting with this person's energy where I can tell that in life, they would have to some extent been preoccupied before they passed with their health or focused on their health. And then I feel like I pass away of something surprising. Mm -hmm. So it's coming in, but it would have been at kind of a weird age where it would be premature. Um, this is coming in, uh, this is good to keep in mind. It's referencing to an individual. I'm seeing my symbol for college. Who this would be referring to is an individual who would like be in college, would have like, but at the time. Yeah. Uh, just good to keep in mind they are referencing to like a Stephen or a Steve connection. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Um, I don't know where that fits, but it came. In. It's his middle name. Oh. Um, and you know, he died in his dorm room oh. at college. He had epilepsy his whole life and, and was definitely careful about it, but then he died suddenly the day before his birthday. And I still don't know how he died, but he was my, you know, my love. He was the cutest boy in school, and I was devastated, just devastated as a young girl. And he was the first young person I knew who died. It just was surreal. You know, grandparents go, you expect it. It was so out of time. I don't know if I feel so comfortable talking gotcha. about exactly how it happened, yeah. but I was never able to say goodbye, and I never sent a letter that I should have sent, and I have incredible guilt about that. And I've never felt, I never got a resolve. So. What I was so surprised by was how much he acknowledged kind of pushing people away, because that wasn't his personality. Yeah, and that's so, absolutely right. You know, in order to send a letter, you have to have someone to receive the letter. I don't even know if he would have been ready to receive it. So, but then I want us to hold on to that guilt. And from where he's at, he has a much clearer perspective now. And I think he can see that for what it is. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> so, I hope that gives some comfort. Absolutely. That's, I, I, I don't, I wasn't even going to bring that up yeah. at all in this. And I'm so happy that that's the first thing that you brought up. I feel so much relief. I feel like a weight has been lifted off of me and I'm so eternally grateful because Dave, you know, that's been on my mind for years and years and years and I'm, I'm so happy. I see you do have some objects here. Looks like there's a ton. Um, it looks bigger than it is because it's a big blanket. Okay, cool. <laughs> I made this with my own two hands and I know nobody would believe me, that's right? That's amazing. 
and then I ended it about a week before Bobby died, and wow. I let him sleep with this. That's because cool. he slept with the last week awesome. of his life. And don't tell me too much about the objects. I think you can probably guess who this is. Probably it would have been a, a very aggressive grandmother. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it belonged to my dog. Yeah, yeah, I figured. He's his briefcase. Okay, fabulous. So, yeah, he had his business cards, a whole wrapped in rubber bands, and a bag of keys if you want those. Looks like that covers that. Yeah. Um, picture of him. We have options. This is one of us. I didn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom. Yes. This What's is wrong? never going to start. <laughs> she is going to talk forever. Oh. I'm very sorry. It's okay. Don't, don't, don't um, Wait, wait, I'm wearing let... his watch. Yeah. And I'm wearing his ring, but the ring he gave me, yes. and I haven't worn it since he died. No worries. Mom, let Tyler. I know, but I, well, he wants the objects. Yeah. No problem. Thank you. I love you. Fabulous. All right. Well, we'll see if anything comes in. And Good luck. We've Get got lost. plenty of objects to work with. All Get right. lost. <clears throat> so as I go through this, I'll do the majority of the talking. I'll just communicate everything that I see, hear, and feel, and we'll go from there. I don't think uh, Tyler knew what he was getting himself into. <laughs> and we'll just meditate. Let's see what comes in. They're immediately having me jump into this, and when it comes to Bobby, um, there's kind of a reference of wanting to discuss some like family dynamic. He versus focusing on himself is focused more on the family and what would have happened before his passing and after his passing. He wants to make sure everyone else is good. He's not really focused on himself. She's Talking. having me talk about these three. He's referencing to kids, and I'm a little confused because he's referencing to three, but then he keeps adding a fourth, and it keeps switching between three to four, three to four, three to four. Wow. So do you know what Do you know how many kids Bobby had? No clue. I don't think anybody. Oh, my God. No one's going to believe this. 